All right, I know a lot of you are subscribed to me for the Walmart Impulse Isle Cheap Cameras. That's a playlist name right there. Just picked up this Polaroid ID 757 digital camera action camera. $40. I know what this is. I have a feeling this is what this is. I think this is a rebranded Vivitar 5, 575. It has the same 575. So um, I don't have high hopes for this. The Vivitar here, I reviewed this about two, three years ago. So people might think this is a new product, but we'll see. Like I said, I don't have high hopes for it, but let's go ahead and try it out. I will film my 1992 geo tracker with it i have a car channel so i'm gonna use my uh camera on my retro ride here let's see how it looks i'm filming with the vivitar 757 i bought this a few years ago i have a feeling that the polaroid is just a rebranded vivitar 757 so since this is advertised as an action camera, it's supposed to stay in focus. That's the draw of action cameras. You're moving around with them and they should stay focused and stay stable. So here we go. We'll compare the two, see if it's the exact same camera, see if it has the exact same picture quality. Okay, let's try out the Polaroid. Okay, I'm filming this with the Polaroid. It appears to be the same casing, same buttons as the Vivitar. The Vivitar is three years older, so let's see if they at least put a little more technology in the Polaroid three, four years later. We'll do a comparison. interior I do like that these cheap cameras have viewing screens GoPros didn't get viewing screens until the hero 5 I think we're at the hero 13 now I have a hero 3 I still use a hero 3 here's the thing with this camera though bought it a couple of years ago and I just used it for a review that's it it wasn't good enough for me to use for anything, so I did not like this camera. It, like I said, it looks like these are the exact same cameras. Just I don't know if uh, Vivitar and Polaroid merged or if Polaroid bought the patents for the Vivitar. But since this is a newer camera, several years newer, I hope that the picture quality is a little better. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm running errands right now. So, you know, as I'm moving, I'll film, see what this looks like when you're moving. Okay, here's what the video looks like in motion. I was about to film driving footage and check it out. It froze at seven seconds and I have no way of turning it off. It's frozen on this screen. So I'll just pull the memory card. I'll pull the memory card and hopefully it doesn't corrupt the files that I did film so I could review them, see what the footage looks like, but this is not good. Just pulled out the memory card and it's still stuck at seven seconds, still can't turn it off. Hopefully the file's still good, the file I filmed. You saw the footage. I even got four seconds of driving footage. This is the exact same camera as the Vivitar. It's just three, four years later and rebranded as a Polaroid and $10 more expensive. I don't know if they merged or if Vivitar sold that design to Polaroid, but it's the same camera. At least my Vivitar still works. This malfunctioned the first day. It's still stuck at seven seconds. So 
I'm returning it right now. I'm not a techie at all. My phone is $80 and I'm using the camera on my phone right now and this is what it looks like. It's way better than that Polaroid. The reason why I like action cams is because, like I said, I have a car channel and, you know, with this little 4x4 I go off-roading. See, this is what I mean by I'm not a techie at all. You have to actually get out of the vehicle, you have to turn this on both sides, and then you have to manually shift it into four-wheel drive mode to get this to go into 4x4 modern vehicles. There's a knob or a button to go to 4x4 mode if you're into that sort of thing. But I'm old school, but I do need an action camera. I have several of them, but I do like having action cameras for moving shots. But I'm returning this right now. It's no use to me and it malfunctioned the first day. Maybe I could get something good with uh, the money I get back. I'll get something else if I could get a refund for this. But uh, yeah, don't buy this. I mean, you could buy it for your kid if you don't like your kid or your friends if you don't like your friend. But uh, yeah, I have no use for this at all. Even if it was working, I already have this thing in Vivitar form. I was able to return that Polaroid, so I picked up this drive-on dual dash cam. It was the same price, $40. If this video just saved you $40 and you're not buying that Polaroid, be sure to thumb up my video and subscribe. No sponsored here, self-funded. I get to say what I want and review honestly.